Pizza delivery drivers of Reddit, what was the most ked up place you've ever stopped at? I once delivered to a guy living under his porch if that counts. I drove up to the house. It's pitch black. No lights on. I look at the ticket, and it says use back door. I go up the steps, and no lights on. Nothing. Then I hear a voice from below me say, hey down here. I look under the porch and there's a small door leading into what looked like a makeshift apartment. I had to actually crouch to get to it. Gave the guy the pizza, and bounced the out of there. I worked as a delivery driver for a very small Italian restaurant slash pizzeria during my first semester of college. This one time I delivered pizza to a swingers party. It wasn't like on the set of a porno or anything he straight up told me when I was like having a party. Because he ordered 12 pizzas. He answered that this was his first swingers party and he just wanted to be sure everyone was having a good time. Someone ordered pizzas to a funeral. There were a ton of people there, all somber and dressed in black, while I rolled up in my bright red greasy t-shirt lol. Definitely one of the most awkward experiences I've had. I didn't end up delivering the pizza, but the address was an abandoned house. It was around dusk and the house was so obviously uninhabited, I could see trees growing through the windows, and the backside of the house was crumbling so badly I could see to the backyard, from the street. The instructions were to come around back. I double checked the address, after locking my doors called the customer a couple of times, called the store, and told them what was up, and why I wasn't delivering the pizza and headed out. I mean seriously who would have been dumb enough to go to the back of that house. I dk if this counts as ked up but it always makes me laugh, when I think back to it. I delivered pizza to a house, where an older guy walks out in a robe sorta of mumbling, I hand him the food he hands me a 20, I tell him it's 24. He mumbles okay and waddles back into the house, comes back and hands me another 20. I go to my pocket to get change, and he slams the door on me. I also once delivered to an older woman who tells me to come in the side door. The food is about $34, and she hands me what I think is 40, and is really sweet, asking me how I'm doing and all that. I get back into my car, and realize it's actually $60 and two of the 20s were sorta of stuck together. I go back into her house to let her know, and she says oh I know, it's for gas, and whatever else you might need. I always remember that lady, because it was just such a random nice thing to do, and really made my day. I was delivering chicken, KFC, not pizza, but my worst stop was pathetic, really. I knock on the door, I hear a kid yell, I got it, he opens the door, and runs up the stairs yelling to his friends, the chicken holes here, the chicken holes here, after which a crowd of about 8 preteens at the top of the stairs start throwing change down the stairs at me to pay for the delivery. I asked if they could hand me the money, they laugh and just throw the quarters slash dime slash etc harder. So I picked up the bag of food, winged it up the stairs at them, it hit the wall, and I split. Told the boss what happened, and if they call to complain I won't listen or apologize, I'll just quit, if he brings it up. I found out later he did get a call, and told them to get stuffed. Good boss. Edit, apparently this needs to be said at the beginning I'm a girl. I was a delivery driver, and was working a morning shift. Around 10.30am I got a delivery to an apartment. Everything seems legit, since it's daytime and there are lots of people close by. I knocked on the door, and after 30 seconds or so the door opened a few inches and the guy was behind the door, so I only saw his face. Still didn't think it was weird, because people do that when they are trying to restrain a dog. He asked me to put the pizza on the stove behind him, and he moved back, so I could see it was right behind him. I hesitated a second, and decided not to do it, told him I can't enter homes, but I don't mind waiting, until he's ready to take the pizza. He asked again, said it's right there, so I gave the same answer, really apologetic, but something wasn't feeling right, I realized later it was how quiet it was, didn't sound like there was an excited dog back there. So he opened the door wide open, and was completely naked. And this guy was at least 60 years old, and like 6 feet tall. I tried to hand him the pizza, and gave him the total, averting my eyes the whole time. He wouldn't give me the money. He kept asking me to repeat the total, and moved into my line of vision. I just took a step back, and looked straight up. Eventually he gave me $25 and I'd fo. 
told everyone at the store, and for an $8 tip and a chance to deck the guy all the boys that worked there hoped he would order again. The next day he did. When the driver got back he said he had to wait at least 2 minutes, and when the guy answered he was only wearing sweet pants, so he was sure he would do it again to a girl driver, so the guy got blacklisted. I delivered to a drug house a few times, it was always obvious that these guys were selling slash using, but it never bothered me as they usually tipped well. This one time I got there, rang the bell and a bag if, I'm guessing coke or heroin, I have no idea, slipped under the door. Not sure what to do I decided to kick it back under the door and leave. Not super kid up, but I think about it a lot. I'm copying from a post I made over on r slash tales from the pizza guy, so I apologize if my formatting is bad, but here's my pizza delivery story. One night I have a delivery to a pretty rural area. A lot of my deliveries are to rural areas, so no big deal. But tonight it's drizzling and especially dark, so I'm having trouble finding the address of the house I'm looking for. So I roll down the passenger window and use my really king bright flashlight. Pointing it at mailboxes slash trees slash posts slash anything that somebody might have their address on at the end of their driveway. So I'm driving along at like 5 miles an hour pointing my flashlight when the beam catches a guy wearing a black hoodie at the end of an obviously long gravel road staring directly at me. More of a glare at me, really. But whatever, could just be on the phone or something. Then it gets weirder. I finally find the address I'm looking for, and pull into the drive, and hop out of the car. That's when I get the sinking feeling. No cars, no house light, boarded up windows. If you've ever been a delivery person, you know that this is a time to throw of there, because you're about to get robbed. Right as I'm about to jump in, throw the car into reverse and nope the out of there, I see a man walking across the empty field adjacent to the property towards me. Now I'm a pretty burly, bearded dude, so I don't worry a whole lot on deliveries, but this scared the out of me. When he gets closer, I see him very obviously tucking something into his waistband, what I can only assume was a gun. He then says in a thick, menacing southern accent, I thought you was the law I guess, because of how I was scanning the addresses. I meekly point to my car topper and the pizza in my hand and he says in the nicest voice you've ever heard, oh, great. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Pays me, and proceeds to walk back through the open field, in the direction of no buildings, in the rain, with his pizza. For the rest, if my shift I couldn't stop whispering what. The strangest thing that's ever happened to me. Edit. Thanks for the double silver kind strangers. For those of you asking how much he tipped, this was a while ago, so I don't remember exactly how much, but I think it was around $5 so pretty decent. I delivered subs, but one of our regular clients was an old lady in a nursing home who thought it was 1940s or something. She was super nice, but nobody would deliver to her, because she would only tip you like 25 cents because again, she was living way in the past. But I loved to sit and talk with her, so I always volunteered to do it. The nurses would pay the tip, if they saw me, but usually I only got a quarter. Her delusional state was heartbreaking. She was for the most part lucid aside from not realizing what year it was. She'd give me hair slash makeup tips, loved to talk about men, and always told me stories about her husband, but seemed unsure of where he was, because she never mentioned him dying, or if he visits. Editing for those who seem to be convinced that either me or her as is lying, she didn't pay for the food, she obviously had dementia. The nurses called the order in, we had the card info, and we sent the order. If the delivery person didn't run into a nurse or find one to let them know the delivery was made, we didn't get a tip. She wasn't scamming us out of our tip. She was mentally unsound. The nurses even warned me upon meeting her that she will probably think she's way back in time and to find them for the tip. Usually I didn't run into them, and I felt bad hunting one down to ask for money when the old lady thought she had already tipped me. I don't know what kind of world you live in. But in the real one, not everyone is out to get you. Not really kid up, but strange and slightly scary to me at the time. In high school I delivered pizza in a pretty bad part of town. One time I had a delivery to an apartment complex that was known for being really ghetto. It seemed like there was a shooting there every other week. I knocked on the door and a woman answered wearing an extremely short leather skirt, a bra, and high heels. 
smoke drifted out of the open door, and it smelled like backwards blunts mixed with a kind of chemically smell that I can't really describe. I told her the price, and she said one second sugar and walked away. I stood there for about two minutes until a giant of a guy finally came to the door. He was probably six and a half feet tall, and had muscles like Lebron James on steroids. He had on a red bandana, red shoes, no shirt, and jeans that sagged, revealing red boxes. His entire torso was covered in tattoos, many of which appeared to be the same sequence of letters in different styles. I tell him the price, and he pulls a huge roll of bills from his pocket. I'm talking like 3 inches in diameter, the guy took a few seconds to free the mass from his pocket. He takes a rubber band off of it, and starts flipping through. He probably flipped through a few dozen hundreds, before getting to the twenties. He pulled to twenties from the roll, the total was like $35, and hands them to me. I asked if he wanted change, and he stared at me for about 30 seconds. I was about to repeat the question, even though he definitely heard me, considering we were about 2 feet apart, and it was silent except for me talking, when he pulls another 20 from the roll, and hands it to me. I look at him as disbelief for a second, and then thanked him, and told him to have a good evening. He nodded, shut the door, and I heard about 5 locks being latched. TLDR, mute gang affiliated pimp tipped me $25 after I asked, if he needed change. Edit, a lot of people seem interested in this story, thanks everyone for the replies. Here's another story in case anyone is interested. On my first day on the job, I had a delivery at a trailer park. I get to this guy's trailer and ring the doorbell. As soon as I rang it, I heard a bunch of movement on the other side of the door, so I know he heard it. However, he didn't open the door. I stood there for about 2 minutes before ringing again. That only made the movement more frantic, but after another 30 seconds or so the door opens. I can very clearly remember what I saw when the door opened. It was an older guy, maybe 50 to 60 years old, and he was quite large, fat kind of large, not muscle. He had on thigh high black socks, boxes, and that's it. He had paid with card, so I just needed a signature. He signed and I handed over the pizza. I noticed that he put zero dollars on the tip line and thought oh well, no tip. A few minutes later, and I was wishing that I was right about the tip. After he signed I started to walk away, but he told me to wait because he has a tip for me. I stay on the porch while he disappears inside. He was gone for almost 5 minutes and I was considering telling him not to worry about it when he finally came back. In his hand he had a stack of $2 bills. He very slowly took one off the stack and handed it to me. He took so long to extend his arm that I thought it was a strange joke. When I finally got a hold of the bill I thanked him and went to leave, but he told me to wait and then repeated the extraordinarily slow process with the next bill in the stack and then the next and the next and the next. Five two dollar bills in total, taking about three to five extremely uncomfortable minutes during which he was staring at me intently. As I was leaving he asked for my name, and I told him it was Alex, which was a lie, because this dude was weird as hell. After that our store occasionally got calls asking if Alex was working, and when we said no the person would just hang up. I'm really glad I didn't give him my real name. GPS led me to my sitter's hospital. After getting directions from a lot of employees I finally found the room. I'll admit now, I really should have paid more attention to the signs, but was in rush and didn't bother. Luckily there was a nurse already in this lady's room. I was was just going to walk in and drop food off when the nurse starts shaking her hands and rushes to me. No, 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 you can't come in here. This is isolation. Oh I'm sorry, she ordered a delivery. She went back in the room and asked the lady if she ordered delivery and I heard the lady say yes. I overheard the nurse tell her, you should have told me. Nurse comes back to me to grab food, and told me, if I had walked in the room I was not be let back out or something along those lines. Threw me for a loop haha, <laughs> I will pay more attention now. I promise, 